Hey, my construction entrepreneurs, we're back with video two for the construction entrepreneurs uh, school and services estimating system. On this one, we're going to talk about the bid list section, right? Now, on every estimate sheet, you have to have an area where you list the, um, I would say, the, the section of the job that describes what you're actually doing, okay? And then we break down that portion into little activities, okay? And we'll get to the activities into the next video, right? So on this one here, at the top, we got a project name. So we got Jones House, right? Uh, that's the name of the job. And then the customer name is Tyrone Jones. That's me. I'm not paying you nothing. All right, so uh, here we got a date. Our date is out of whack, so we definitely want to put the current date, which uh, today's date is the 7th, okay, and it's 2019, right? Happy New Year to some of you out there, to all of you out there. How rude of me. All right, so another thing is sales tax. This is another thing that we get that gets left out in us bidding on this work, especially when we buy materials um, uh, from Home Depot, Lowe's, you know, uh, uh, Ace Hardware, some of these places where uh, we go and buy and we have to buy, uh, 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 you know, over the counter and, we, and we're charged tax, sales tax on these items, right? We're not using our resale license to buy strictly from the manufacturer to cut out that sales tax. Uh, we're buying from someone. So we need to account for that. A lot of times that stuff adds up pretty quick, depending on how much you're getting and you wonder why you're not making money, right? So whatever county, city you're working in, I'm gonna go ahead and change this to 12%. And on our next video, you'll actually see where that 12% comes into play at, because it actually flows throughout our entire bid here. So uh, today is Monday at seven, this date automatically records every time this thing is open and gets saved, that way it gets saved to the correct date and you know anytime someone has opened it up, okay? All right, so in here, you enter a project number. Um, I don't have a project number, so we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay, project number. That doesn't sound like winning numbers, but we'll go ahead and do it. Okay, so in this section here, right, you insert line item number one. Also here at the bottom of the sheet where you see insert line item one, okay? That's, this, that's the description of this page here. So let's say here, um, say at Jones House, we're gonna be working on the backyard, okay? And then we're gonna be working uh, in the family room, okay? And then we're going to be doing the floors, okay? We wanna do the floors, um, and then we wanna do all the floors, right? <clears throat> and then um, maybe next we'll do the uh, first floor restroom. I, I need my floor for a restroom remodel, by the way. All right, so uh, description of activity. Here, um, I like to put in what we will be doing for that description, for that title there, right? That, that portion of work you can put in here. And then you can also put in there as you move along here, okay? Backyard. Uh, concrete on patio, okay? Uh, and then you can put as much as you want here, okay? Uh, uh, the, try to be descriptive as, as possible, okay? Because you gotta imagine, and you gotta build this as if someone else will read it, because that's what you wanna work towards, right? You wanna work toward you, you having a team and you bidding on it and someone else going into it to review it or add to it. And they need to know exactly what's in that, okay? They need to understand what the description of each title is, so you need to make sure you're labeling these things correctly, okay? A family room, uh, uh, paint on walls. Um, we'll also be doing, um, um, uh, let's see here, we'll be doing, uh, see some cabinets, okay? And then here, floors. Uh, towel throughout, okay, and then uh, first floor restroom, 
just doing a, a full remodel, okay? All right, so here um, we can put square footages here. We need a square footage here. So uh, back patio is 6,000, right? And then here's a drop down menu, okay? You just select the drop down menu of the square feet. Paint on the walls, maybe cabinet, maybe it's not really uh, an item that we can quantify. So we just put lump sum here. Uh, floors all to say uh, 9,000, oops, 9,000 square feet. Uh, restroom full remodel, maybe we not have anything to quantify, so we'll just select lump sum here. And then location of work. A lot of times when we're dealing with projects, we may have like the school uh, uh, video I posted, right? You may want to put uh, near classroom 28, you know, near auditorium, near boys gym, near girls gym, right? Near cafeteria eating area. So that's what you insert on location of work. Now, if you don't have a location of work, then you don't have to fill that in, okay? That's not something that you need. The, the, this here, we're working out a house, so I don't think we need to add that extra detail to it. But that's for it when anytime we have a project where we need to input that item there or that section there, okay? So that's it with that one here. You got plenty of room to insert as much as you want here okay throughout the entire bed here okay um and once you get done with that make sure you check out the next video where we jump into the activities of each one of these title items oh also too so here you also this is where you enter in the backyard okay okay that's where you enter in that section that way backyard it flows with here with backyard and same thing moving down here with family room. You're entering family room here, okay? And that sheet would deal with family room. Now, I don't, it doesn't matter how small, how big these items are. The main thing for you to do an estimate, you're really tracking the time and the cost for each of these, but you're breaking each one down to the lowest common denominator. And watch the next video, we're gonna get into a little bit of that. And that way this breaks down will be easier for you and you'll know why you need to do an estimate for every project and why this system here makes it easier for the average or any or seasoned entrepreneur okay so my entrepreneurs i'll let you go with that hopefully you learned a lot make sure you subscribe like and share if you learned anything or if you like to purchase this program it's about three hundred dollars uh, we can get it to you today, the day that you order, and you can go through training right away. And we will actually help you land your first project with this system here. So I'm going to let you go with that, my construction entrepreneurs. Remember, hustle hard, then hustle harder. See you on the next one, my construction.